here in Auburn, Alabama, anticipating a great game of college football. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass protection. So he's a, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. go with a screen here and the halfbacks got it knocked out of bounds around the 39 yard line you know what after a play like that I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again there he goes and they make the stop at the 30 what a play just a simple option play here the quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage great play From the 30-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Taken down at about the 19-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Trying to get into the tight end, but it falls to the ground. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And that sets them up with a first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And now he pitches it. Nice run there. Hunter picks up five there on the speed option play. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push and allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 23. Tackle around the 25-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he hits him hard at the 31. Gets it out quickly. So the defense does their job well on that series. Scott awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Auburn is up seven. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. And here's a quick throw. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. after a decent run up the gut. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That brings up six and five. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 27. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. They'll bring him down at the 19. run and he's brought down from the 13 yard line first down Auburn is up by a touchdown still dragging guys makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line It's the ninth play of the drive. Touchdown, Auburn! The 
He makes the PAT. A nine play, 66 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 14 0. McPherson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Tackled at the 32. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Looking for the corner. Scott fields it at the 24. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. The Tigers are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop it. So we're just about ready to return to action. Brought down around the 27-yard line. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 27. He makes his way out to about the 35. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. And he's taken down at the 25. The Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And down he goes at the 44. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. It's the tailback. Runs it left for a decent game. That's good for a gain of four yards. 
first down. Right left, right left. Three down, three down. Right, right, 12. Right, 12, right, 12. Right, right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And that'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. 14-0, Auburn. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. This is the ninth play of this drive. Going for it all to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 14-3, Auburn. Oklahoma kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Got some open field. He's to the 40. And they push him out at the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line. It's first down. Now he pitches it. Room around the corner. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 32. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. the middle got his tight end and they make the stop at the 23. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. What is 
going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. Alston is the intended receiver on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Mike nine, Mike nine, six, one eight. <laughs> nice run there. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Let's go. Let's go. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Pearson looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. He's under some heat, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Scott will be the return man. And this one is a beauty. Scott takes it to 36. Tackle made at the 47. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. scrambling around he keeps it and he has a huge game yeah I like the decision making ability of this quarterback he looks and looks he sees nothing he didn't get rattled he sees some green in front of him and he takes off ends up with a great run from the 33 yard line first down Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Right, 
tackle around the 36-yard line. The entire defense just collapsed on that run. It got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Taken down around the 23 yard line. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He scores. What a play. was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. He makes the PAT. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. around the 50-yard line. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. He 
He's hit and taken down. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Quick pass. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Two minutes left in the half. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now, a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach, is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here where you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Oklahoma gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Got a man. Watch out here. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here they come, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. And down he goes at the 43. Chapman awaits the snap. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. This one will fall incomplete. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete.
They run it left. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Auburn will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Scott fields it at the 37, gets to about the 47-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Goes right, picked off. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From the 46-yard line, first down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Going deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And it's going the other way. It's the freshman corner. We played a half. Auburn in front, 28-6. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Toss. He tackles him for a loss. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Nice run up the middle. hit immediately. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. yard line. First down. He gets to about the 41 yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. nothing this time around. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make the read, 
get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. Williams back deep to return. He punts. No, he won't. Tackle at the 43-yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They'll bring him down at the 49. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From the 48-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 39. He's at the 30. Tackle at the 25. That's good for the 14 yards. First down. From the 25 yard line, it's first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. He throws. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Ready! Red 18! Run, 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 run. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. A nice seven-play, 59-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's tackled at the 24. The Sooners' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Down he goes at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Seven's Mike, Mike seven. 
And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. tackle around the 41 yard line and that play was snuffed out from the get-go you're right it's a delayed handoff to the tailback and the defense wasn't fooled at all there it's second down now 13 to go ball on their own 41 and he is drilled at the 43 Fires that quickly, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Chapman to punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run. Brought down at about the 45. That'll make it second and four. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled in the open field. Waiting the return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. He makes his way to about the 32. First and ten, ball on the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This one is incomplete. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Williams takes it at the 23. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. 
They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete, and he's down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. That's a game of 10. That brings up second and nine. some daylight gains his way to the 20 yard line it's not over yet folks we head to the fourth quarter the Tigers with a 16 point lead back in this very pivotal fourth quarter He makes his way out to about the nine. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Diving for extra yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, OU! And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Mike 12, Mike 12, He's in for the conversion. Oklahoma to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Brought down at the 23. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Auburn is up by eight. The halfback with a carry. They bring him down in the backfield. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 22-yard line. Mike seven. Mike seven. Hands it off. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 38 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 38. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down right around the 48 yard line. He 
he's knocked out of bounds at the 45 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. Holds an eight-point advantage. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's scrambling. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Complete. Tackle at the 50. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. He throws left. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. First and 10, ball on the 37. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. to that quickly. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. From the 32-yard line, it's third down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nice run up the middle. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Gets out to about the 21. Second and seven. Ball on the 21-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive.
Here he goes. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Rose had a man wide open, and he missed him. Play 13 of the current drive. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. All right, guys, crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. And it's caught for two. Great job to get it in for two. This team played very determined football in that series. Oklahoma is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 39. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. Ready. Blue in the eight. Hot. <laughs> Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Slings it. And they push him out at the 40. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it fourth and eight. We gotta move quick. We gotta move quick right here. Chapman awaits the snap. And he can't hang on to the ball. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 49. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And 
and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From the 18 yard line, first down. And he's tackled at about the 15 yard line. Run right and hit in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Makes it to the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, second down. Quick throw, brought down at about the five-yard line. Gives it left side. Touchdown, Oklahoma! brand new ball game once you get to overtime and this was a really big score these guys have taken charge now it's their game to win he makes the PAT from the 25 yard line it's first down Gives it to the back. And he is drilled at the 26. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. The 10. Touchdown, Auburn! Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point.
The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tackle made at the 17. positive yardage first and ten ball on the 11 yard line he's on the run and he's gonna be sacked coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Go nowhere, 22, go nowhere. Mike seven, Mike seven. Seven to Mike. I got one, I got one, I got one. Double, 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 double. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. And he converts the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for the game of seven yards. That will bring up second and three. He's tackled at the nine. That makes it first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. Looking left, finds his fullback. Touchdown, OU! It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. And if two overtimes weren't enough, we are going to a third. And extra points are no longer allowed. If anyone scores a touchdown, they've got to go for two. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the ground. That brings him second and five. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. Number nine makes the set to at the 16-yard line. Third down. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. And 
and they got him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's taken down around the four yard line. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. From the 25-yard line, first down. Screen pass incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. It has the distance, and he got it. Folks, we might be here all night. We're heading to another overtime. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Here he goes. And he shoved out of bounds at the 9-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run to the outside. for a loss. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. He makes it to the six-yard line. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. And he's hit immediately. Goal. 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He takes it in for the win. What a finish. Hunter's stats today, again, are off the charts, and they continue to be all season long. Unfortunately, they don't get the win. Yeah, the team loses the game, but for him individually, he continues to show the nation why he's one of the best at his position. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Oklahoma 51, Auburn 48. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.